Hey guys, thanks so much for hopping by. This is the Love and Passion YouTube Hop. So today, as you saw, our video was based on that palette of colors um, from the intro. And I don't use a ton of reds and orangey colors, but I think I made it work. And today I'm working in the Large Dilutions Journal. And I'm going in with some Deco Arts Media Gesso. So Deco Arts is also a sponsor. We have tons of amazing sponsors in this YouTube hop. So it's important that you make sure that you subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment to be able to be entered. You also want to make sure that you enter the country in which you live. Some of the sponsors are only shipping to U.S. only, so we need to make sure whenever we have that drawing. So, let's get to it. I'm using all types of acrylic inks here. Um, De La Rowney FW inks. I think some Liquitex here. And I realized that my water bottle wasn't spraying. <laughs> So I just made it work, which is kind of um, how I live my life. If something doesn't work, just figure out a way to uh, get the job done. So I'm going in here with some paint, a paintbrush that has water on it. And well, it was dirty paint water, guys, but who really cares, right? And so I'm going to smush it and kind of move the color around. And as I say, it kind of activates the energy in the page to kind of take me and catapult me into the next steps so i'm moving along here as you see this beautiful stencil that i have placed out to the side i'm going to show you a few different ways um, to use stencils and this one happens to be from one of our sponsors um housewares she is a small business on etsy you can check her link below she's giving away a prize pack and i love love this kind of plus sign funky um stencil that she has so it's one of my go-to and as you see i don't believe in living a life where you actually wash your stencils <laughs> i know you, those of you who are regular watchers are not surprised by that statement at all so I'm just sticking my finger directly into the pot of Deco Arts Media Gesso, which happens to be my most favorite gesso on the market. And I'm going in right down in there and I'm taking this baby wipe and I'm just kind of, I don't know if this is a technical term, but smushing it around and kind of creating some textures. So messy is kind of um, my thing and I love to get wild and crazy. So, but as wild and crazy, I guess, as you can get with a pen and some paints. But anyway, I'm drying in between layers, and I just made some scribbles and kind of movement in that background there. And if you're a regular watcher, you know I never have a plan for these um, journal pages. I just kind of go with the flow. And so, um... I'm not really sure what I'm doing, so y'all are figuring it out right along with me. So I am going to go in and I'm going to dry it off really well. And I'm going in with some Heidi Swap spray. And it is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But you'll notice at the end, it really wasn't quite as um, bold after I get finished adding more layers that I really like. So we'll work on that. But I've showed you how to kind of um, wipe through with the baby wipe with your stencil. I've showed you how to use spray inks with your stencil. And then I'm also going to do some regular stenciling with paint through your stencil as well as we move on in this adventure of love and passion. I love that. Love and passion. Hmm. And so as you see, I'm going to take my Stabilo pencil here. I'm getting it sharpened up. And I'm going to make some flicks of the paintbrush and kind of some messy splatters. And I really like messy splatters, by the way. So this made my heart happy as I was flicking paint around. And then I'm also going to take, you'll see in a minute, and I'm going to um, kind of make some scribbles. And I decided to write out the word love at the bottom. And I'm still finding my way around the page. Not really sure where this is going at all. 
And if you've never watched a blog hop or a vlog hop, YouTube hop, what you'll do is go down below in the description box and you're going to find where you need to go next. So I believe Kim is going to be the next hop. You'll see where you're at and then you will go and uh, hop to her channel and watch what she did for the hop as well. You want to subscribe, comment, do all the things that I talked about. Leave your country and all of that good stuff. And then um, you can see what she did for the um, blog hop. So, ba -da, I grabbed that magazine image and fussy cut it off camera because, heavens to Betsy, fussy cutting is not my expert, okay? It's just not. And as I was moving her around the page, I felt like the yellow and kind of that really rich mustardy color that was in the inspiration board kind of got lost. So that's why I added that um, little giblet there of ink so that I could bring that mustard color over to the right side of the page. And now I'm going in with this same stencil once again, and I'm going to go in with a stencil brush and some of that beautiful teal color that was also in the bottom right part of the inspiration uh, board for Love and Passion. And I'm going in wild and crazy like, and I really think that it made great pops. As you can see, my little finger, I was like, yes! winning this is what it's all about and no guys uh this is how i really am all the time i'm crazy it's okay i know it and now i'm going back with my little girl that i really love i love how that black and white um vintagey look just pops right off of the page from that dark rich luscious orange colors and the textures and everything else that we've had going on so i'm a huge fan of how this page turned out so now what to do what to do Gla grab that old glue stick and slap it on down that's what we're gonna do here and i found this magazine in the thrift store this week actually and i purchased it for like 50 cents and it was really for this particular girl she oh yeah she's awesome i really love her and all of the facial expressions the big bushy afro i'm a fan and now I have these Cosmo Cricut stickers. So, guys, I have looked everywhere online for these stickers. Everybody always asks me about them. And apparently Cosmo Cricut is no longer um, making this particular sticker. So, I apologize for that. But it was one of those things that I'm glad that I had. And I actually um, just, you know, just used it. And now I'm checking out different textures. And so that's kind of a thing too that I have is where I use textures and threads and hand stitching and fabrics and all the things um, on my page. And so I'm kind of playing back and forth here just to determine exactly what I want to use. So I will tell you that the sticker says she wondered what would happen if she dared to trust her heart? And I kind of thought that her photo and her facial expression was kind of going like it, it kind of worked for her. And so that's the reason that I used the image. So I just wanted to say really quick, guys, I'm so, so, so super happy that you decided to hop by. Like I say, this is a blog vlog youtube whatever you want to call it hop go down below make sure you go check out the other channels who are participating give them some love enter the giveaways let me look here really quick and tell you guys when we will be drawing for this so you have from february the 2nd which is the day that this is going live until 
February the 9th to enter the giveaways, okay? So make sure, like I say, that you leave your country, do all the things that we talked about. Check below. I'll have an outline if you get confused and forget what I said because I forget what I said sometimes too. Um, and we will announce the winner on Monday, February the 11th. We've got tons of sponsors, guys. So we've got stamps. We've got stencils. We've got uh, Deco Arts giving away stuff. I think there's $65 worth of stuff. Stamp sets, stencils, gift cards, um, all kinds of things. Make sure that you go ahead and um, get those entries done. And it's February the 2nd through February the 9th. And we will announce the winners on the 11th. Just make sure that you send an email letting us know um, where we need to send it. You can find all that info in the description box below. So all I'm doing to my girl now that I've got her quote and her sticker all stuck down is I'm going in with my Stabilo All and I'm taking a wet paintbrush. And all I'm wanting to do is just cast a little bit of shadow and let her pop from the actual wild bold background that we have going on let her pop from that and that's really going to be a wrap today i am so glad you stopped by check at the very end of the video you can see a still shot of how she actually turned out and i'm so excited to have you guys until next time to lose